Hey guys, welcome to my second YouTube video. Today we have a special guest. Special boy. Uh, my boyfriend. Lady. Um Wait, what? What'd you say? Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Anyways, so what are we doing today? So we are about to get a haircut, but before we uh, we're kinda hungry, so we're gonna stop by and get some sushi. Sushi! And it's gonna be fun. I think I think Darren's doing a little QA today. Mm -hmm. There's just some questions. I saw your Instagram story. Yeah. All right, guys, we'll meet y'all at the sushi place. Hey, guys, we just got here. Um, yeah. We're getting some sushi right now. Sushi, right? Sushi, 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 sushi. Where are we going? Sushi. I actually have no clue where we're going right now, but let's find out. Happy sushi. Happy sushi. That's the name. Not yes, that we sushi. We are happy, happy. We're actually, what do you think? We're like the energy of the group. Me That's, and what, you. I'm saying, That's what I'm we're saying, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. All the boys. Nah, they're not funny. We're like the funniest one in the group. That's why we're always out together, me and Sebi, bro. All right, guys, we are currently seated down. And let's see the menu, guys. I used to work at like a hibachi place. So I would say I know a few things about sushi. So I never know. I never know what's a good sushi. I just let other people order from it and I just eat it. Um, because if not, I'm just gonna get a California roll, and I don't even like California rolls. <laughs> we got over oh, here, we got a little crispy, crispy onion sashimi. Oh, these are sashimis. Alright, I had caterpillar roll before, that's pretty fire. Ahi roll, geisha, dragon roll, Nemo, Nemo, California. big salmon roll, big salmon. Are you down to get some boba tea later after a haircut? Yeah. It's our boy boys day out. First date, kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we got our food. Which one's which? This one's this one's the spider, right? Spider roll. This is the spider roll. Um, yes sir. This is the uh, Nemo. 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 <laughs> it's kinda sad. <laughs> You. Nemo made a sacrifice for us, man. We are hungry. This is the first meal of the day, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! No! What are you doing, cut? This dude does not know how to use chopsticks, bro. He does not know how to use chopsticks. Bro. It disappoints me. Couple goals. Go ahead. Mm. Guys, I'm so full, bruh. Oh, yeah. We gotta hit the gym. But look at the aftermath. Puff is in there. Ah, uh, let's go get haircuts. I <clears throat> got the aftermath. Mm. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go get our haircut. Alright guys, we are currently waiting for a haircut, so there's some questions, relationship questions. <clears throat> <clears throat> that y'all have been asking us. So, starting off, if you got cheated on, would you give your girlfriend a second chance? Ooh. <laughs> Don't That's like tough. That. I would um, say like you can go first. Okay. Me? Sure. Yeah. All right. Um, personally, I don't believe in second chances, especially I'm 19 already. He's 18. We're old enough for like, you know, to know what's right and what's wrong. And if you make like a mistake, um, if it's like cheating, then no, I don't believe in second chances. Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree as well. Um, I would say like. You, you just kind of lose trust at that point because you know when someone makes a mistake once who says they're not gonna do it again in the future and that's just unhealthy on both sides so yeah. probably not a second chance yeah all right <coughs> milfs or dilfs <laughs> uh dilfs 100 percent dilfs yeah. milfs <laughs> This is such a stupid question. I know it is. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> Are you single? Si, senorita. 
I'm currently looking for a girlfriend. Hit me up, please. Hit me up! Just in case you haven't already known, Darren's looking for a girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, next one. If you want to keep a convo going with your crush, what would you do slash ass them? Ooh. Um, you know, if you want to keep a convo going, you just got to talk about... Just talk about stuff that's going on with your life, you know? Something you would talk about with your best friend. I believe in, I believe in like, you know, if you have a crush or you want to be in a relationship, I believe the friendship comes first before anything. Um, so you just really can't be shy, you know? Obviously, like, don't open up too fast because, you know, some people could take advantage of that. But also, like, you know, don't be shy to talk about stuff or say the wrong things because at the end of the day, we're not all perfect. And, you know, good conversations always happen through stuff that are may seem, you know, not perfect, you know? You sound like you've been through a lot, bro. <laughs> really. You're only 18, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, personally, um, <clears throat> I'm a really talkative person, so there's never a point where like it's just silent on like a FaceTime call or in real life. Um, I believe it's just like you can crack up a joke. Not everything has to be serious, especially if you're trying to get into a relationship. You want to show your personality. So you really want to, like, you don't want to be flirting all the time, if that makes sense. Thanks. You want, like, I, personally, I want, like, a relationship where it's, like, love and hate. Like, I can be able to, like, make fun, uh, fun of you while, like, you can take a joke and make fun of me back. Like, I don't like being, like, all clingy and stuff unless it's with you, baby. <laughs> but, yeah. <clears throat> That's, um, nice. what I think about Darren's conversations. Like, you're, like... Yeah, I don't need to, uh, I don't need to flirt all the time. I'm already sexy enough. So Let him know. Just, just keep him funny. <laughs> for, sure, for sure. Most awkward date experience. I don't think I've ever been on a date before. Yeah, we went on our first date today. <laughs> but uh, no, like, I, I've never had an awkward, awkward situation. Really? Yeah. I have. Um, it was looking at catfish, bro. Like, it was like, it was I was, like, talking... it was like a 40 year old guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. I was talking to this girl, you know, I hear up on social media, it was like their Instagram DM, you know. I don't like normally DM girls, but like, I was like, yo, she's kind of cute. DM'd her. We talked for like a week and we're like, oh, let's hang out, grab some boba, right? Picked her up on first date. Dude, she did not look like anything. Ever, <laughs> like, I swear she facetuned that stuff or something, bro. And then it was just like, I drove her around like I didn't want to just like tell her to get out and like leave but like I drove her around right and like all that time she was just talking smack about like one for friend and it was just not that's it. so annoying yeah I know like I don't want to hear about your drama yeah no not just that but like yeah when someone's just always negative all the time and it's so also annoying. like your first date come on now like why are you talking about something that's not about us you know yeah but you know I basically bought her boba and I was just like Oh, my mom's calling. Like, literally, I c told my mom to call me. And I was like, yo, mom, call me real quick. And then she called me. I was like, oh, the house is on fire. I'm coming back right now. Like, that's literally what I said. I was like, the house is on fire. I'm coming back right now. And, like, you know, dropped her off and never hit her up again. That's crazy. That's actually, like, out of all excuses you could have made, you made a house Dude, it fire. was like, it was in the moment. I've been using my friend as excuses, though. Like, if I'm on FaceTime call with a girl, and, like, I would say I'm a talkative person, but if she's, like, super dry, we'd just be like, oh, okay, like, two words. Or, like, if I'm cracking a joke, and she literally doesn't laugh, oh, yeah, I'll text one of my boys, I'll be like, hey, call me real quick. And then I'll be like, hello, hello, my, my friend's calling me. And that, I'll call you back tomorrow. Never call her back again, bro. All right. What's a turn off in the girl that you see? Um, when they're, when they're, uh, when they like switch up, you know, like their attitude or personalities, depending on like, you know, like let's say they're like nice to you in person, just like you between you two, mm -hmm. and then other three people, they're like not, or they, Act like you know, especially if they act like they don't even know you or even oh, yeah, yeah, have yeah, feelings yeah. for you at all. Like that's for so sure. annoying. You know, it's just fake. For sure, it's just like she wants to keep you. A secret. Also, when they t talk about their ex all the time, it's so annoying, oh, yeah. bro. Like, stop talking about your ex. We don't care. <laughs> um, we do not care. <laughs> yeah, we do not care. But personally, um, a turn off for me is like 
physically hygiene it's like you got smell good bro <laughs> like i've never run into a bad smelling girl no i had this one girl she got into a car i don't know what she smelled like bro it was it was bad oh, flashbacks but um if it's like i agree with what you're saying it's like yo like if she talks about her ex nah nah ain't it ain't it you gotta go gotta go, gotta go. drop my hey the house is on fire and we, we, we gotta go to the moon <laughs> oh we gotta go the spaceship is leaving <laughs> yeah no we like, gotta go um also another turn off like i said if she doesn't <laughs> rock with my humor i can't talk to you bro because i'll be cracking up like jokes and you'll know how awkward it is if like a girl is just like haha <laughs> like fake laugh or doesn't laugh yeah dude it's so awkward all right next question when was your first kiss Oh, I'm still waiting for my first kiss. <laughs> Chill out, bro. Um, my first kiss I don't was. I have the energy for this right now. <laughs> Y'all should see Jeremy from that perspective. Look at this. That side eye. Give him that side eye, bro. <laughs> That's what you look like when he's about to kiss you in the car. Don't stare at me. Uh, don't. <clears throat> don't stare at me for thirty seconds, or else I'll. <laughs> Lean in, bro. Thirty seconds. Make eye contact for thirty seconds. It's like my cue for thirty seconds. Three. Three seconds. Yeah, 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 it's my you know cue for a kiss. <laughs> no cap. But my first kiss, it was like when I was fourteen. I had my first love. Ain't nobody can compare to my baby. Ain't nobody can between us. Or could ever come above. Dang. She had me going crazy, crazy. man. I was starstruck. Yeah, but it was like fourteen, and you know. You know uh, it was with one of my of my first girlfriend. Yeah, she leaned in for a kiss. Like I was like I was such a pure when I was young, younger. Like literally, I would like I would not hold a he girl's hand. Like even though we were like a thing, but I would not touch her hand. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's tough, tough bro. dude. Like no, uh, my last ex. It was like. We didn't hold him till six months in. Really? Yeah. So you guys dated for six months? No, nah, we were talking for six months. You were talking for six months? Yeah, I know. That's where the problem starts. I was committed, bro. I was committed. I was committed. Why can't you just rip off the bandit, bro? Ask her out, you know? Nah, it's because she like, had a crazy mom. Ah. Uh, plus, like, you're that young, it doesn't yeah. really like. Yeah. No, I was like 18 or 17. I, oh, 17. what? Yeah. Oh my god. And like her mom was like super controlling. So basically I felt like I was dating her and her mom. <laughs> like there's the milf, bro. You're we were the... taking a homecoming picture, right? With my group of friends, right? Her mom pulled up to watch us take homecoming pictures. That's, <laughs> that's how crazy. That's crazy. And during that time, like her mom have to live 360 on her like 24-7. So she'll check every single like she'll be in the neighborhood, she'll be like, Why are you in the neighborhood? I'm just like, yo. And then I remember we went to State Fair. And like, her mom made her younger sister come. But then her younger sister shows, you know, it's cool. Yeah, that sounds cool. That's like more normal, you know. <laughs> but if you see me, I miss you. <laughs> Aside! We have like two minutes. Alright. Two minutes. 20 more minutes until I got girls out, until I got I'm on a slide. Next qu- Alright. <clears throat> good one. Big good last one. Alright. Let's see. Look, let me find one. <laughs> Guys, I just want to say y'all ask me some weird questions. Are Justin and Ryan dating? Yes. <laughs> that is the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not. They're uh, we're actually just all really good friends. We like girls, but there's nothing wrong with you know. Who's liking. we? Who's we? I like girls. <laughs> 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 all right. <clears throat> Uh, all right this one's really good does body count matter Ooh. yes and no here's why so some people have like hundreds of body counts okay and that's a red flag it's all about flags it's all about intentions it's all about how what someone truly means you know but like if you have like 20 body counts and you're, you're like 
you know, you've been in many relationships and stuff like that, and you're actually like a genuine person, but just a lot of unfortunate things happen. It's okay, like, it's honestly okay. But if you're always going around like crazy, then I mean, that may be some people's thing, but personally, that's not my thing. Personally, I think, yes, it goes both ways for girls and guys. If you have a high body count, it just means, like, I know, like, we're at an age where it's just like hookups. A lot, <laughs> like you know, oh, yeah, yeah, hookups, you know, like we can't hook up right now, <laughs> but you know, it's like <clears throat> the girls, like I talk to, they're either like have low body counts where it never have the S word, but um, yeah, it counts for me. I think like giving up your body is like really like a big step and just important to like a person i agree i agree i think your body's like you know you gotta really take care of it no sex till marriage <laughs> no sex for you no sex for you daddy says no daddy's <laughs> wait you call me huh? 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 huh 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 all right let's go get a haircut baby all right let's go hello where do we go it's my first time at ultra sebastian oh, ultra oh uh, ultra I'll tell that time. That's kind of awkward. Alright, so you know. Sebastian's coming first. Hi, guys. Hi. Okay. It's okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys. Gotcha. Freaking Boba. Boba. Wait, yo, look at the haircut though. We've literally just been looking at our hair the whole entire time. Dude, that's what I'm saying. We've been looking at our hair. It's kind of fire though. Alright guys. Um, I'm putting on... Ooh, the lighting. Alright. I'm putting on Sebi with white peach and kiwi. With green tea. Hey guys. We just got our boba. This is white peach and kiwi. orgasm basically it's better than what we did last night what the heck what are you talking about Shh. all right guys we're heading back to say hi to the boys hey let's walk in with her boba drink walk in with a boba our haircut, haircut. oh yeah sushi. <laughs> oh no they're definitely gonna yell at us but We'll see y'all back. All right, guys. We just got back to the house. Ooh, the lines were super bad. We just got back to the house. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Say hi to my vlog, buddy. Say hi. Uh, oh, hello, vlog. Hey. How was your Check guys, out the uh, haircut. No, no. How was your guys' uh, little sushi and uh, bow date, huh? What are you talking about, bro? Oh, oh. Oh, sushi. What, what, what? Oh, where? Mm -hmm. Oh, we want to play stupid now. We want to play stupid. Did we get bow what? Nah, no. I don't think so, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Did we get sushi? Nah. Oh. Alright, let's go to Justin. It's so dark in here. Justin! Say hi to the vlog. Alright, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? I'm doing good, dude. Did you get a haircut? Yeah. God it was damn it. Look, 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 look. What are you talking about? They did me dirty. God That's damn clean, damn bro. Dirty. It's clean, bro. What y'all think about my hair? Comment below. But yeah, what y'all eat say? It's your boy. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you're eating. Yeah, glad you got to get sushi without us, bro. What are you talking about? I didn't get no sushi. Where's Reggie? Alright, guys, let's go find Reggie. Hey, guys! What's up? What's up? No way you got the same haircut as me. No, oh, we got this. These are matching. <laughs> same haircut, baby! What are y'all laughing at? What are you laughing at? What are you trying to say? You don't think my haircut's clean? Y'all got the same haircut. That's so funny. You don't think our haircut's clean? 
<laughs> no, literally, literally, I walked in, I sat down, the lady was like, what kind of haircut do you want? Give me the same ass hair. That's what I said. I was like, give me the same ass hair. You guys want to say And then I guess like, what the fuck, bro? Like, what are you laughing, cuz? Why are you laughing? The same haircut, bro. <laughs> is it not good looking though? Is it not clean, bro? It's not clean, bro. I don't know why they're clowning on me. It's just funny because you both got the same hair. <laughs> we went on a little date, bro. Me and Sebi. It was a really a Sebastian and Darren day. Yeah, it was. I just want to say we are the best duos in the, you know, in the whole group. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Alright guys, thank y'all for watching.